What the fuck is this? Man, this is unacceptable by any standards. Please use only thin, thin raffia. Nice and thin like this. Otherwise, you will get detected in the field. Quite often I can see on the internet this kind of uh, fat raffia used on the uh, ghillies and uh, other systems like weapons, uh, binoculars, backpacks. Please, 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 use only thin raffia. It's very important. I think you can see how this sticks out and uh, you will see uh, how bad it is in the field when we will go out and field test it. But for the moment, let's just uh, take a, a closer look at this uh, pattern correction process. Pattern composition is pattern correction after a first uh, field test. So you remember it was uh, slightly not reflective enough uh, in the infrared. Um, in other words, too dark. So we added some of uh, these nice halo screen edges, halo screen uh, strips. This, uh, this will completely change the near infrared signature. It will be much more realistic. Looks nice and sexy, doesn't it? And uh, lots of green burlap. I like this green burlap. This, uh, this has just been attached uh, five minutes ago, but uh, it will get lighter and it will get uh, fatter uh, as it as it pumps water. So eventually, eventually it will be like this. Eventually it will be like this. Much more realistic with a nice luminance effect. Uh, what else? Well, it's just uh, more dense. The 3D density is uh, much higher. And I think we should not add more 3D because uh, then the, the, the 2D um, beneath uh, will not breathe anymore, as we say. Uh, it, will be, uh, it will be just covered, covered up. And cover up is not camouflage. Well, even the cat is complaining about this big chunk of uh, unthinned raffia. Ah, it sticks out as a sore thumb right here in the middle, middle of the field. Wow, how bad could it get? Couldn't get worse. Mm, you see? So this, this will have to be removed. <clears throat> Otherwise, the pattern is not bad. Hey, kitty cat, what you think about it? Doesn't care anymore. Okay, let's uh, give it another try somewhere else. So definitely, this has to go. Otherwise, it's not too bad. It's very green out here, but uh, it's not bad. Scanning the area. Any suspect items in here? Mm hmm. Let's get closer.
This is suspect. So, very interesting. We have a size and shape issue here. Size and shape. This pattern was designed for uh, short grass. Is in the spot uh, we were in before. And here we have very long blades of grass, you see. This is 30-40 uh, centimeters long. So there's a morpho problem, shape and size, morphological problem. And we'll have to address this uh, by adding some long grass to mix it with a short grass. Make it a more versatile grass pattern. And of course, remove the thick raffia. No thick raffia. Never. Well, now we have to face another issue, cross-terrain movement. Uh, it's good to have a grassland adapted suit or concealment vest, but the thing is that now we have to transition to an entirely different environment. Lots of dead leaves, and uh, reddish, orange, warm, brown colors. The leaves are wet. Hmm. Our pattern will probably not do it. So it sounds like bad news, because our nice prairie pattern will be ineffective in this kind of environment with uh, beech trees, <laughs> branches. What can we do about it? Oh, but let me see. Here's something interesting. Aha. This pattern should fit this alpine woodland. Let's take it. Oh, how cool! A bespoke alpine woodland winter pattern that we just found here. Great! And guess what? I've got good news. The prairie pattern is on the other side. Yes, this is the reversible concealment vest that we all need. Uh, on our way to another field testing spot, we can uh, check uh, if the system begins to be self-protected. Self-protected means it can stay here for a week or two and uh, civilians will go by without noticing it. So a uh, self-protection self test is underway. Yeah, you see, they go by and don't see shit. But of course, the system is right here. Haha, -ha, right in your face. On our way to more, more field testing of the reversible concealment vest. Well, this time it's uh, the roadside, roadside field testing. Ah, here we are. Very interesting. Well, two meters away, four meters away, six meters away. Eight meters away and uh, going, going, gone. Let's see from the other side of the road. <clears throat> you can see the shade. Uh, yeah, it's getting good. Damn good. So for this spot, add some uh, some green halo screen, maybe some raffia, warm colored, and uh, it will do it. 
So that's another place, uh, woodland, 100% beach. No, not 100%, we have some oak here, some oak leaves. But anyway, 90% uh, beach. And here is our uh, concealment, concealment vest. Well, it's, uh, it's not bad, it's not bad. It's much better than any commercial grade shit, obviously, it's custom grade. So, here we go. And uh, I would like to stress something extremely important. Is uh, It has been sunny today, cloudy yesterday, but it was wet. Snow has melted, raining a few days ago. and. It's still wet underneath. And when it's wet, it's dark, it's black. And this is what we will see probably tomorrow because the weather forecast is rain for tomorrow. So we'll be back for uh, some more field testing of this uh, concealment vest in the next episode of The Covert Sartorialist.